So in this video, we'll be comparing Snowflake and Amazon Redshift. So let's get started. So the first thing we will be comparing is service. Now Snowflake works on all three clouds, whereas Amazon Redshift works on AWS. Now, Snowflake is also slightly faster, what I have personally realized. It may be different for different locations, but I have personally realized that Snowflake is slightly faster. And also, Snowflake supports a lot more functions. Now, from functions, what I actually mean is, let's say you want to fuzzy match or some other specific operation on your data. So Snowflake has a lot more tools to do that as compared to Amazon Redshift. And in case you are interested in sharing terabytes of data, it's really easy in Snowflake. Now, comparatively, AWS Redshift is comparatively slower. It has limited number of function and data sharing can be slightly complicated. Now, when it comes to cost, Snowflake has pay-as-you-go model. So, if you are using less, you will be paying less. And if you are using a lot more, you will be paying a lot. So, it has lower cost for small-scale use. Let's say you are storing 2-3 GBs of data, small-scale use. So, Snowflake will cost you less, like $50, $60 per month. And it has separate pricing for storage and computational services. So storage will cost you separately and computational service will cost you separately. Now, this might be very helpful if you're using it for a small scale use. Now, when a word of caution, now when you're using it for large scale data storage, the cost can go high really quickly. And here where, here's where Amazon Redshift has an advantage. Now, even when the lower tier may cost $400 to $500 per month, like if, even if you are using just one node, now when you are using it for large scale storage, like you have petabytes of data, Amazon Redshift will cost you less. But Amazon Redshift, it has a quantum kind of storage, like quantum kind of pricing model. So uh, the pricing model goes according to number of nodes you have. So if you are using, let's say, one node, you will uh, get a bill of four to five hundred dollars. And if you are using many more nodes, you will get a higher bill. Now, ease of use. Here's where Snowflake has a clear advantage. Snowflake is very, very easy to use as a data warehouse and it's really intuitive. Whereas Amazon Redshift, it has a slight learning curve. So it might take you two, three weeks to get adjusted to AWS Redshift when you are learning it as a beginner. 